and she conceived again and bore a son. He said, Now this time will my husband be joined to me because I have borne him three sons. Therefore was his name called Levi. And she conceived again and bore a son. And she said, Now I will praise the Lord. Therefore she called his name Yehuda. And she left off from bearing. And when Rahel saw that she bore Yahweh, no children, Rahel envied her sister and said, Give me children or else I die. And the alcohol of anger burned against our health. And he said, Am I in the place of God who has withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold my maid Bilhah, go into her, and she will bear upon my knees that I may also have children by her. And she gave him to Bilhah and her handmaid to wife. And the alcohol went in to her, and Bilhah conceived and bore the alcohol of her son. And Rahel said, God has judged me and has also heard my voice and has given me the son. Therefore, called his name Dan, and Milhah Rahel's maid conceived again, and bore Yahweh a second son. And Rahel said, With great wrestling have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had stopped bearing, she took Zilpah her maid, and gave her to Yahweh to wife. And Zilpah Leah made bore Yahweh a son. And Leah said, Fortune comes, and she called his name Gad. And Zilpah Leah made for Yahweh the son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. And Reuven went into the days of the wheat harvest and found mandrakes in the field and brought them to the mother of Leah. Then Rahel said to Leah, Give me, I pray thee of thy son's mandrakes. And she said to her, Is this a small matter that thou hast taken my husband? And wouldst thou take away my son's mandrakes also? And Rahel said, Therefore he shall lie with thee tonight for thy son's mandrakes. And Yaqual came out of the field in the evening, and Leah went out to meet him, and said, Thou must come in to me, and for indeed I have hired thee with thy son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night, and God hearkened to Leah, and she conceived and bore Yaqual the fifth son. And Leah said, God has given me my hire, because I have given my meeting to my husband. And she called his name Issachar, and Leah conceived again and brought Yaqua a sixth son. And Leah said, God has endowed me with a good dowry. Now will my husband well with me, because I have borne him six sons. And she called his name Zebulon. And afterwards she bore a daughter and called her name Dina. And God remembered Rahel, and God hearkened to her and opened her womb. And she conceived and bore a son and said, God has taken away my reproach. And she called his name Yosef, and said, The Lord shall add to me another son. And Yosef, and said, Came to 